we know with the isopropanol water system that it exhibits a binary azeotrope. If we explored this further, we would find that this azeotrope cannot be broken with pressure swing separation. Consequently, we need an alternative. I want to explore using liquid-liquid equilibria to break the azeotrope and for the purposes of this screencast rely solely on visualization. I'm going to look at using toluene. In order to do liquid-liquid calculations, I have to make sure that first the solution model is appropriate for predicting two liquid phases should they exist, and second to select vapor-liquid-solid phase behavior, and then third to ensure that the binary interaction parameters are present for that solution model selection so that I can anticipate that the predictions of phase equilibria are reasonable. Once I've made those checks, I can go to Plot, Binodal, follow the convention that any dialog box or entry that is green requires an input from me, anything that is black has defaults, which I can override, but usually the ChemCAD defaults are more than adequate. The convention for these calculations are that components 1 and components 3 in this entry are the ones that have to exhibit a miscibility gap and component 2 is the one that distributes. I want to do the calculations at a temperature that approaches cooling water condensing temperature, the rest, step length, baseline estimations, and the plot of mole percent or triangular, I'll use the default. Note, however, that if you prefer to use the right triangle chart, that is present as well. Once I select OK, I'll get a text table that gives an indication that it is the binodal curve with component 1 toluene, 2 isopropanol, 3 water, and I'm plotting or tabularizing mole percent in the toluene phase, mole percent in the water phase. I arrive at a chart, and I note from this chart that the Isopropanol, according to the tie lines, prefers to be in the toluene phase. Thus, by visualization, I can hypothesize that I should be able to break the isopropanol water azeotrope by selectively adding toluene appropriately, taking advantage of the phase separation, and pulling water as the bottom product from one tower and isopropanol from the bottom product of another tower. Again, in order to visualize the phase behavior of a ternary system that might exhibit liquid-liquid phase separation, ensure that the solution model is capable of predicting two liquid phases should they exist, ensure that you have selected the vapor-liquid-liquid-solid option, ensure that you have binary interaction parameters for this ternary system that's three binary pairs, so three sets of binary interaction parameters or BIPs. And at that point, to do the calculations, I can go to Plot, Binodal, select my components following ChemCAD's convention that component one in the calculation or first component and third component exhibit the miscibility gap and the second component distributes. Select the temperature. Use ChemCAD's defaults 
or input your own select the type of units select the type of graph arrive at a table of the phase equilibria and a chart or graph that in this case indicates that isopropanol prefers the toluene phase over the water phase by visualizing the tie lines. In this way I can use the visualization to synthesize a process to potentially break the water isopropanol azeotrope. This tip showed you how to plot ternary liquid-liquid equilibria. Thank you for using ChemCAD. For more tips, please visit ChemStations.com. My name is Chip Howitt.